Hey, what's up, hello, and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma, and if you're not new here, my name is still Emma, and this is. Why did you have to sound more so? <laughs> oh, sorry, okay. And this is. <laughs> Morgan, Morgan. Still trying to shine. <laughs> Morgan! Rachel. Tell I put a thing up on Instagram story when this video comes out, but a few days ago, asking you guys to send in. Basically, just treat us like your big sisters and send us in stuff you want advice on. So that is what you guys did. I had a lot of people asking for advice and a lot of the situations were quite similar. So I picked out ones that were like a common sort of theme. I'm going to read them out and we're all going to contribute and give you guys a little bit of advice. First up, we have how to get over driving anxiety. I feel like I was scared of this up until this year. Like, not gonna lie. No, same. Like, still. But I feel like because, like, driving more often, like, to, like, yeah. drive back to Auckland and stuff, like, practice, yeah. I have no idea what I want to do when I leave high school and I don't want to go to uni. Oh, tell me about it, girlfriend. And at this time, during COVID, I guess it's kind of hard to find a job. There definitely are jobs out there that don't need qualifications at all. Like, what I want to go do, I probably don't actually need a qualification, but I'm just getting on mm, because, same. like, for the sake of it. Also, like, another thing is there's a lot of mini sort of tertiary educations that you can do. Nowadays, if you don't want to go to uni specifically and you just want to do, like, a year. Also, you've got to start somewhere. So you've got to start yeah. at the bottom and work your way up. You literally might start being the trolley person at Countdown exactly. and work you, up to being, like, a national exactly. regional like, it's not gonna. Countdown. It's mm. not gonna happen overnight. How do you know if a guy is toxic? Well, if you want to know if a guy is toxic, if he is controlling, I would say if he um, makes you feel like you're not worthy, or if you feel like he might be lying, or if he's just controlling you and tells you what to do. If he doesn't make you a like priority, you know. Yeah. Or like manipulation. Yeah, manipulation. If he makes you feel like. Like sometimes at the time you like might not see, it could be good to ask like someone else's opinion that's close to you who knows the situation because you may not see it yourself, but other people may see it but may mm. not want to say it without you asking. And if you if you don't feel like you're okay just to be yourself yeah. around the person, like you have to act differently. Or How was it moving to the halls away from home? Any advice or things you wish you'd known? I feel like it's scary Ooh. moving away from home, but I feel, I don't know if I'm speaking to everyone right here, but I feel like you're so ready. Like high school's finished. And it's like your next thing that you're moving on to. Mm. Like in high school, it can be a little bit scary because you're so comfortable. But like, it. also remember that you can come home. How to get away from toxic slash fake friends? In high school, I literally ran away from my toxic friends. Like literally ran. I <laughs> ran away from my toxic friends in high school. Like too. actually ran. Like ran. <laughs> <laughs> I might have run. Walked. The sooner you can cut them off, the better. Yeah, if you feel like they're toxic, they probably are, and like you're probably wasting your time. Definitely start like moving out of the friend group and start yeah, thinking you can about do it slowly. possible like alternatives. And I know it's like scary to move away from a friend group because then for you might sure. feel like you have no one. Yeah. But if you just go solo for a while, then you'll you'll find better friends. Yeah, but stressing over financial aspects of university and how to deal with that. First things first, the person who wrote this, I'm not going to put their name on the screen, but I know them. And I know that she's not into going out and partying and, like, wasting her money. So that will, you have nothing to worry about at all. Like, I you're feel like if you're rich, girl. If you're responsible with what you're spending your money on, then you'll be fine. A lot of people waste their money on alcohol. Telling your parents you have a boyfriend. I hadn't had to until I met Owen. And we were like talking a bit, like leading up to it. So my parents knew about him because he was like tagging me and stuff on Facebook and obviously he was showing up for them like, who's this guy Owen? And I was like, wow. I feel like the sooner you tell them, probably the better because otherwise you're just gonna be worrying about it and hiding stuff and that's not healthy for your relationship with your parents. They might actually be like happy with it. If you tell your parents, then then you might want their approval. I mean, true. Yeah, like, that's true. I know that my parents, their opinion is quite, I value their opinion. In the, in the long run, because I'm not saying everyone should do this, but I feel like most people, you kind of, you date with the intention of marrying, marrying them. them. You're so either going to marry them or break up. It's your parents to obviously get along with them because oh, they I could end up being their parent in laws. How did you and Owen handle long distance so well? What did you do to help the relationship grow? Because obviously, long distance, we only saw each other on the weekends. So if you aren't familiar with the situation, we're both in Auckland, but both in opposite ends of Auckland. So we didn't see each other during the week, we went to different schools. So first time we during the week to like catch up on each other's days. On the weekends, when we hung out, we were very intentional with the time we spent together. So we'd make sure like we did something, <laughs> we weren't distracted. Distracted, that sort of stuff. <laughs> Boys slash dating advice for those who haven't had their first boyfriend slash kiss yet, etc. I feel like it's not a bad thing, obviously, to not have had your first boyfriend or have your first kiss. I feel like, in the scheme of things, I didn't have my first boyfriend until like year 13, and I feel like a lot of people kind of 
rush things when they're younger and then they have these Maybe kiss, regret it. They, you know, you know, your parents can't tell you that thing where you have to kiss a few frogs, blah blah blah, but you don't have to kiss a few frogs. <laughs> Why kiss a few frogs when you can kiss a prince? Kiss a prince. Yeah. That sounds real cheesy, but it's true. Sorry, sorry. Next year I'm year nine and I'm super scared about not knowing where classes are. You literally just figure it out though. And you everyone's in the same position. Like, yeah, like, you probably, probably have friends to you class with. Yeah, they give you a map. A little yeah. bit orienteering. No, but literally, they expect you to get lost. Yeah, they, they understand that people are going to get lost. And they have people, like, literally just ask a random person. They'll know where If it, it makes you feel better, I walked into the wrong class at uni, and it was a second year English paper, and they were <gasps> sitting in silence for 10 minutes, and I just sat at the back of the classroom. <laughs> so, last year I went and sat down, and I was year 13, and I went and sat down in a year 9 maths class, and I realised... <laughs> I'm worried I'm not going to make friends at uni as I'm shy. I don't think there's anyone in our whole uni that has no friends. I feel like just everyone's in the same position, everyone wants to make friends, so just be open to it. The thing was, like, I think everyone's so terrified. I feel like other people though, like, will come to you. Like, I would have no friends if these guys hadn't have come to me. Also, don't expect to make best friends on the first day. Because no. you might have to try and meet a few people Every yeah. To figure out, to figure like, out, like yeah. we met. I didn't even meet Rachel it. until the end of the week. I didn't meet Emma until my birthday, which was like a week and a half. And then I don't think I met Taya until like two weeks later. And it's okay to group hop. Like the first person you say hi to, that's not your like ride or die squad. Like I've never had an encounter with God, and all my friends have. What should I do? I think keep praying about it and keep hoping because it's gonna happen. And like, don't lose hope if. Yeah. You feel like you're the only one because you're not the only one. And I feel like maybe in a lot of situations you feel like you're like, oh, I haven't had it. But like, you may have, but you may not have realized perhaps. Like you may not have been like on the lookout or whatever. Don't expect it to be like, wow, because it could be something really small. Usually it is the still, quiet, small voice. Little feelings. And the thing is you have to be still and quiet to hear it. Wanting to drink but not wanting to smoke when everyone else wants to smoke. This First is... of all, here's me giving you a gold sticker for being an intelligent human being. Because so we, we probably feel like this a lot because a lot of people vape and smoke, which is completely fine. Like, do whatever you, you want. want. And also, don't anything. think drinking and smoking go uh, together. Go together because you can drink and not smoke. You want sure. to hang out with your friend on her B day, but they're all drinking and you don't want to be in that environment, but not going will upset her but you're not comfortable with being around people who are drinking. Be tell honest. her, you could tell her. I have, I've been in situations like this and I just, I just don't go and people like, if they know you well they'll I respect that that's not what you're about. The thing is, you go early. Before yeah, it gets messy. So say it's go like, early. go for like the first hour, hour and a half and then be like, okay, I'm off. Or we'll try and make plans to hang out with that person that having, that's having the birthday True. separately. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. up for our little birthday day. Yeah, then yeah. that will like mean a lot to them because that's You're still cute. making an effort. Don't just yeah, not go to the cute. party. Like, hang out with the person separately. Yeah. How do I feel more confident in my body when everyone around me are beautiful and perfect? You're, You're beautiful, beautiful and perfect. perfect. If you ask Kendall Jenner if she thinks she's perfect, she's going to say no. No one's ever going to feel satisfied. Like, if you have straight hair, you're going to want curly hair. There's no, like, right. perfection. There's no right. definition the of perfection. perfection. You know, one day you're going to feel like a bad bleep yeah. and you're, you're going to love yourself and I believe in you. Also, don't try find your self-worth in... And like other people's opinions, other people's opinions social media, yeah. boys. What do you do when someone likes you but you don't like them back in that way? You gotta tell them. Hey man, this is gonna be in the whole video. <laughs> Still be nice to them, be their friend, but the best thing to do is kind of like just rip the plaster off. Yeah, and they're gonna respect yeah. you more if you I reckon do that. If do you not string them, them along. How to help with anxiety and depression and panic attacks or so struggle with panic attacks and it's affecting my schooling and social life any tips I jesus know, like, all these things you've mentioned here i have experienced myself and it's very scary at the time i feel like for me it was a growth thing like growing like maturing and when you start to understand life a bit more it all starts to make more sense and you don't worry about the little things so much anymore to hike everything one step at a yeah, time. That's good. Mm. For me, most of the anxiety would come from being overwhelmed. Yeah. So yeah. like, I need to take my own advice here, but like, if you're <laughs> organized and you have a plan, and you know like, you're focusing on that one thing, and then you're gonna move on to this thing, it like really helps. Take some time to yourself, and like, make sure you understand that like, you don't have to 
just keep going all the time you can actually take time for yourself and like chill out and then that really helps also if you're um if you're open to jesus oh yeah but i was also if you're open to some drugs um rescue remedy is really good you'd think coming to university moving away from home i used to be literally i was the most homesick kid in my life i never slept over at people's houses i was too afraid but coming to uni i had zero issues i think it's because of how much my faith has grown since i moved here hold on a second philippians 4 verse 6 do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition <laughs> with thanksgiving present your request to god so basically if you are anxious about something pray if you about pray it. about it and give it to god then basically he can take all your anxiety away so you just i feel like people who aren't christian won't understand that but like yeah i cannot say how like even me like starting uni if you sit to me i'll be like <laughs> whatever but it's true i cannot stress this enough and it's true even like for me like i don't really understand it but i respect it words of encouragement for getting through the last bit of high school well oh. i can't relate because i uh went overseas for the last month so <laughs> make the most of it though because you're only at school yeah. for one last year it's your final year with the people that you spent for five years with yeah i would say make the most of it i saw this video yesterday and it was like Talking, and I think this relates a lot with me and I want to know if it relates a lot with you guys but it was talking about how like this girl she romanticizes her past and like the moments where she might not have actually liked for example high school she looks back on now and like misses even though she was like sad at the time even if you're not enjoying high school now you're gonna look back on it one day when you're like 40 and working and like miss it miss so just school. try and enjoy every moment Look at me being inspiring. Thoughts on dating people at 14. Don't do it. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. Don't, don't do it. What year are you in when you're 14? Like year 10 oh, or 11? Year 9. Year 9. Or year 10. Wait, no, year 9 or 10. <clears throat> Is that going to last your high school? Probably not. Are you going to end up broken hearted? Absolutely. I mean, you never know. But it'd be it like a long It could last. Yeah, but what's the likelihood of it? Your feelings are valid. Like, I'm not saying that, like, if you feel some way for someone at 14, then you can't. Like, you can. But, like, Mm, date true. in the dating perspective like don't stress it because you're quite young and like it might yeah. not last like if it, what's the ideal age for someone to date <laughs> probably like 18. i was 16 when i, I would do old. 16 up body shaming don't body shame no but what if you're being body shamed see i see a lot of people in the media body shaming and like that says a lot about the person because they're doing it behind a screen so obviously they're too coward yeah. to like come forward and say it to your face. They're like, body shaming you, they're probably insecure about their own body. Exactly. Like even in any situation if someone's shaming you for anything really, like what someone says about you in a negative way reflects way more on them as a person than it ever will on yourself. Last Wait. question is this general flatting. So we flatting. are flatting together next year. No we haven't found a house. No we don't know what's happening. No, we, we thought we found a house <clears> but, but no. I don't know, what can we talk about about flatting? Because we haven't actually flatted before. Make sure you flat with people that you like. Make sure yes. you flat with people that you're completely comfortable with. And we're really excited about We're flatting. so excited. Alright, that concludes this video. This was going to be an absolute mission to edit. But thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile. And we'll see you in my next video. Oh, I wasn't meant to pull peace signs and I already did. And it's I was like, oh, I mean, oh, okay. <laughs> did you just move this? That's gross. Look at my bubble yet. Snug as a bug in a rug. Shh. The backyard again. <laughs> All right. Woo. You're okay, yeah. woman. Yeah, I didn't act like we're filming a YouTube video. <laughs> this good girl. <laughs> Emma I Stevens was, was friends with what? Jojo Siwa. I just don't want to I can't even who's gonna ask this question. <laughs> One of Andrew's mates. And they hideous. Can you cut that out to make it seem like I read that better? 26, say. Right under the bus. <laughs> no one knows what we're talking about. <laughs> General consensus of the thumbs. <laughs> I just cringed to myself. <laughs>